LUTs can be used to color grade video, build powerful color profiles, and even edit images. For color infrared video, you may want to do more than tweak colors. You may want to swap colors like you do for infrared photos. LUTs, or color lookup tables, can swap colors for infrared video. I'd like to share the new version of my free color infrared LUTs, show you how to use LUTs for video, and which raw photo editors can use LUTs. At the end of the video, I'll show you how to create your own LUTs for use in infrared video. If you're new to infrared photography, I have a free ebook titled Getting Started with Your Converted Infrared or Full Spectrum Camera. Check it out, the link is in the description. The latest version of my Color Infrared LUTs contains 18 LUTs. There are 6 LUTs that perform a color swap for infrared video or images. Aside from the color swap, these LUTs make no other changes. They use a variety of color swapping methods to produce different color variations. See my blog for a more technical description of each LUT. A link is in the description. This collection also includes a dozen creative LUTs for infrared video or images. These LUTs perform a color swap, they also change contrast and add a color grade. Use the creative infrared LUTs when looking to add a distinctive style to your infrared video or images. All 18 LUTs are available to download for free. First, let's talk about infrared video. LUTs can be used by professional video editors such as Adobe Premiere Pro, Apple Final Cut Pro, DaVinci Resolve, and others. When shooting infrared video, be aware of your white balance settings. Shooting infrared video is much like shooting infrared photographs in JPEG. You'll want to set a white balance in camera. You may have limited control of the white balance in your video editor, so you'll want to get as close as possible in camera. The same applies if you're shooting a time lapse and saving the individual frames as JPEG. If you're shooting a time lapse in RAW, you can use a custom profile and set a white balance when you export the individual frames. LUTs can be used by some, but not all, RAW photo editors. Here are the programs that I've tested which support LUTs. In ACDC, use Color LUTs in the Color Group. In Exposure X7, use the LUT panel. In Darktable, use the LUT 3D module. For Affinity Photo, add a new adjustment layer named 3D LUT Adjustment. In Luminar, use Color Styles LUT. In Pixelmator Pro, use Custom LUT Adjustment. And with On1 Photo Raw, see a link in the description for installing LUTs. LUTs cannot be used by all RAW photo editors. For Adobe Photoshop, use Photoshop Actions instead of LUTs. There's a link in the description. With Adobe Lightroom, create enhanced profiles using LUTs instead. I'll cover this in a minute. Capture One, Digicam, DxO Photo Lab, and Raw Therapy also cannot use LUTs. See the videos in the description for alternative methods with these editors. Enhanced profiles address the two major challenges in editing color infrared images in Lightroom. They combine a temperature shifted profile, which allows you to set a good white balance, with a color swapping LUT. This means you can edit color infrared images directly in Lightroom without a round trip to Photoshop. I have detailed instructions on my website and another video that walks through the process for creating enhanced profiles in depth. As a super quick review, you'll need a temperature shifted profile for your camera, which you can get from the infrared profile pack, and a LUT. You can use a LUT from the Color Infrared LUTs, or you can create your own. In Photoshop Camera Raw, open an image and apply the temperature shifted profile. In the Presets panel, Alt or Command click the Create Preset button to open the Create a Profile dialog. Select the profile, select a LUT, and save. After restarting Lightroom, the enhanced profile will appear in the Profile Browser. That's a super fast summary. There's a complete breakdown of the steps in my blog and in a previous video. The links are in the description. Finally, I'll show you how to create your own LUTs. Creating a LUT is pretty easy. Open an infrared image in Adobe Photoshop. In Camera Raw, set a white balance for your image. 
If you need a profile to get a good white balance, you can download the Infrared Profile Pack, which contains infrared profiles for your camera. In Camera Raw, select Open. Apply a color swap to your image with an adjustment layer. You can also download the Infrared Actions, which contain multiple color swap methods. In this case, I'll apply a color swap from my actions. Apply additional adjustment layers to define how your LUT will look. Let's apply a Curves adjustment layer. For this, I'll use a preset with a medium contrast. Next, I'll apply a Hue Saturation Adjustment layer. In this layer, I'll adjust the Master Hue value. You can apply other adjustment layers, such as Brightness, Contrast, Levels, Curves, Hue Saturation, or Color Balance. Only the adjustment layers are saved in the LUT. Any changes made directly to the image will not be saved. When you're ready to save your LUT, select File, Export, Color Lookup Tables. Set the quality to medium, and set the format to cube, then save. If Photoshop crashes when saving your LUT, the adjustments may be too extreme for a LUT. Try dialing back the changes or removing an adjustment layer. The Save dialog window shows a .LUT file, but the save file will be a .cube file. That's it. Now just import or move the LUT to the location needed by your video or image editor. Remember, Photoshop can be used to create LUTs, but Photoshop doesn't use LUTs for editing. Use Actions to edit your infrared images in Photoshop. That's a primer on my color infrared LUTs for video and images. LUTs are not only a powerful tool for cinematic color grading, they can be used with infrared as well. If you find these videos helpful on your infrared photography journey, please consider liking, subscribing, or leaving a comment. Do you have any topics related to infrared photography that you'd like to see addressed? Leave a comment below. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.